Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. Good morning. I just woke up. Psych, I've been getting ready for this video for like two hours, but good morning everyone. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, I really, really appreciate it. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. So happy to have you here. Hope it's not the first and last. And if this isn't your first time, I love you. Thank you for being back. I really, really appreciate it. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I preserve my curls while I sleep during the night to then prevent a frizz ball in the morning. <laughs> If you're a curly girl, we have all experienced it. You go to sleep, you are a curl goddess when you go to bed and then you wake up and you're like, what is, who am I? What is this? What bird laid a nest on the top of my head while I was sleeping? Like, what happened to the curl queen that went to bed? <laughs> We've all been there. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the simple things that I do at night to help me wake up still looking like a curl queen. Breaking news! If you are a curly girl, you should not be washing your hair every day. Ah! Okay, let's be real. If you are a curly girl, you have probably heard this close to a thousand times, if not a hundred thousand times. But us curly girls really should not be washing our hair every day. It's just not good for our hair. It can dry it out. There's just not a lot of beneficial things that come from washing your hair every day. And I know you're probably like, why are you mentioning this, Jenny? You clearly just said we were gonna talk about what you do to your curls at night. And I know, I know, I'm getting there. <laughs> My personal opinion, I know at least I speak for myself in the past when I was just not as involved or as dedicated to my curls the way I am today, I used to wash my hair every day. And I feel like a lot of curly girls that still do that, the reason is we fight frizz that way. We wash our hair every day because the truth is that that first day, like the, the first day that you style your hair, your curls usually look so bomb. So that's usually what we're after. We're just simply trying to achieve perfect, awesome, beautiful styling results. And then because we wake up with our hair like such a mess, you're kind of left with like, well, I mean, I guess I have to wash my hair. So do you kind of see where I'm getting at? <laughs> Taking care of our curls during the night is going to help so much with fighting frizz, which means you are not going to feel like you have to wash your hair every day. You're gonna have so much more time in the morning. I mean, girl, you're gonna be able to go grab that coffee. You're gonna go and be able to like hit the gym. You're gonna be able to like sleep the extra five, 10 minutes. I mean, a lot is gonna change. Everybody wants more time in the morning. Like that's a given. Everybody wants more time in the morning. So you're welcome. <laughs> Whether you adapt my way, someone else's way, you create your way. I just really, really encourage you to create something that works for you because it is going to change. It is going to change your curly game. I mean, I've told you guys this so many times that I'm just such a believer that curly hair is meant to be fun. It's meant to be carefree and we're not supposed to be slaves to our curly hair. That is why we're leaving the irons and the blow dries and everything because I mean, that is like, that is a lot of work. So we want our curls to be healthy, but we want it to sort of work for us. Like we're not trying to make our lives more difficult. I know that the process of getting two healthy curls is difficult. And I know that. And if you're in that process, I encourage you to keep going. Cause listen, what's on the other side is totally worth it. But once you're there, like once you find your like curly hair routine, curls really do become so much easier and so much fun. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the simple things that I do and I hope it works for you. Right now I am using a silk bonnet or this is a silk sleep cap, whichever way you wanna call it. It's very simple. It looks just like a shower cap. The only difference, which is actually a very big difference, is the inside. So the inside of this bonnet or sleep cap is that it is silk. So like you see how it's all shiny and cute. So that's the difference. This is what helps lessen the frizz and this is what's going to help 
preserve and keep your curls looking good throughout the night. Everything that I mentioned, as in most of my videos, everything that I mentioned, I always leave in the description box below with a link to purchase. So if you guys didn't know that, now you do. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything in the, in, it's not like it's a lot, but the things that I will be showing you guys, I will list in the description box below with a link to get a little bit more information on it and to purchase. So I really like this one because it has a band around it and I feel like it's snug enough where it actually stays on my head throughout the night, but it's not really tight where it gives me a headache or anything like that. And then for me particularly, I like that this band, first of all, it's so cutie. <laughs> It's like little lace things around it. This band is not very thick. Like this is a little bit more on the thinner side. And I like it because I've tried thicker bands and what happens is that this part of my hair right here, like I'm gonna show you guys how I wear it. If it has a thick band, I feel like it almost squashes my curls a little bit more here. That's why I really appreciate and I personally like when the bonnets or the sleeping caps have a thinner band around it. So that's just preference. Um, I've tried them both and I just so happen to like this one better. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Let me back it up, back it up, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Let me show you guys exactly how I put it on. So it's very simple. What I like to do is I push my curls forward and I just, I'm not gonna flash you, I have a tank top underneath, but just in case. <laughs> So I like to flip my hair forward, so I bring my head forward, then I push all the curls up, and then I start by placing the bonnet on the back and then tucking all my curls in. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Whoop. All right. Okay, just make sure that everything is in, making sure no curls came out. All right, so super simple. So now the reason why I like to flip my hair forward is because if I were to lift this right here, whoop, you see how all the curls are sort of bunched up on the top? And here's why I like that, because if my curls from the back just so happen to get stretched out a little bit because I push them forward, I don't mind those curls being a little bit more stretched out than the ones in the front. So what I do is by picking them all up and just letting the curls rest on this area, it helps the curls in the front not get as stretched out during the night. I actually don't feel like they get stretched out at all. So that's something that I personally like to do. And so that is the reason why I like to flip my hair forward and put it in that way. Okay, so this has actually been the way I have been going to sleep as of recently. I recently switched up like my nighttime routine for my curls because before using the bonnet, the sleep cap, I was putting my hair up in a very, very loose, very high, pineapple i was using i was using like a very loose i had it here oh i use like a very loose scrunchie you see like this is like very stretchy very loose and uh, i think that this is also like silky i'm not sure if it's 100 percent silk but it's more like very soft and it worked so amazing it worked perfect for years however it's because my curls were a bit shorter i am letting my hair grow so the pineapple just wasn't working anymore. There was too much hair like sort of hanging over my face, hanging on to the side, to the back. So then while I was sleeping, I was and like I was actually like squashing some of the curls. It was just getting a lot frizzier than before. But if you want to go ahead and give it a try, it worked for me great for years. Now with my hair a little bit longer, I'm finding that this is actually working much, much better. I'm super happy. I find that it is simple because that's another thing. I mean, I, at nighttime, I'm tired. Like I'm exhausted. I just, the thought of having a long nighttime routine, like, ugh. I can't, like I can't, really. When it comes to my nighttime skincare, when it comes to my curls, everything, I have to keep it short and sweet if I'm gonna stick to it every day. So if you're like me, this is perfect. You guys saw me, it took me 15 seconds to put this on. I like to leave it by my bed because that's another thing. If I tuck myself into bed and I don't have it on, uh, too bad curls, you're gonna suffer because I'm way too tired. But if I just simply leave it by my nightstands, I usually remember like, oh wait, hold on. And I do it, and that's it. 15 seconds and 15 seconds for the results 
that I'm gonna have in the morning, totally, totally worth it. So now I do have one more thing that I have recently added. Also, as my hair grew, I started to realize that, you know, I gotta change things up, things aren't working anymore. And the other thing that I have added to my routine is, Ta -da! I now sleep with a silk pillowcase. And uh, listen, you guys, this, this, makes such a huge huge difference and if you're watching this and you're not a curly girl first of all seriously i just love you so much because i can't believe that you stuck through this whole entire thing and you don't even have curly hair i'm just like that's real love <laughs> but this is for everyone whoever is watching this this is for you i recommend this not just for my curly girls i recommend it for everyone boys girls young old it does not matter this is so beneficial it is great for all hair types but not only that it is great for your skin i mean hello and if you guys follow me on instagram you already know that i have been on this like 2020 we're gonna get better skin tip so hello this is gonna help with that and truthfully is that you're not even doing anything at night this isn't adding any extra time to your nighttime routine i really really recommend using a silk pillowcase and i know i know you might be like well that doesn't make any damn sense jenny why do you have a silk bonnet sleep cap and also a silk pillowcase and here's the thing i knew you were gonna say that so i'm ready for my answer here's the truth I cannot tell you how many times I have fallen asleep mid email with my laptop reading something and it's like I just fall asleep like dead just fall asleep I don't even wake up till like four o'clock in the morning to find out that I fell asleep so the times that that does happen it is perfect because I already have my silk pillowcase I don't have to worry about it now is it the same as the combo absolutely not but is it a thousand times better than accidentally falling asleep on a cotton pillowcase? Absolutely. Because your curls or your hair rubbing against the cotton pillowcases, that causes a lot of breakage. It causes a lot of frizz. So you don't have to worry about that. If you got your silk pillowcase, truthfully, I mean, it's okay. Another thing is a lot of people suffer from like the bonnets or the sleep caps coming off in the middle of the night. I don't know. They'd be like fighting people in their sleep. <laughs> if that were to happen to you again, it's like I got backup. You got backup. Like you don't have to worry about, oh, it came off. Like wake up in the middle of the night, put it back on. Like, no, it's okay. Like you have your silk pillowcase and so you're good. And like I just mentioned, this is protecting my curls and it's protecting my hair. The silk pillowcase is going to help with my hair, but it's also going to help with my skin. So, I mean, why would you not? You know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, this pillowcase was actually gifted to me by a company called MySilk. So, thank you so, so much to them. I am absolutely obsessed. I'm going to go ahead and leave all of their information in the description box below. Also, with links so that you guys can check it out. I highly recommend it. I've been so happy with it. So thank you so much to them for gifting this to me. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, and another thing, I almost forgot to tell you guys. So these, are, I don't know if you know, but these are like hyperallergenic, which is amazing. But another thing, it's like, it has like a cooling system technology thing. I mean, I don't know. Listen, I don't know how these things work. All I know is that I feel it. So you know when at night, don't lie, you know that sometimes you're sleeping in your regular cotton pillowcases and it gets hot, so you like, flip it over <laughs> we've all done it i know you've done it what's great is that these actually stay cool like i don't like for example i touch it now and i feel that it just feels cool it feels like really nice i mean i'm really really enjoying sleeping with this so i thought that was pretty cool i didn't know that about silks till recently so i thought that was like really really cool but let me take this off because i've been looking like doña florina in the entire video All right, so the way that I took it off is literally how I take it off in the morning. There is no signs to it. I shake up my curls and that's it. Oh, and by the way, you guys, this is day number, oh my gosh, this is day number six, which is why I have like this beautiful volume. But I'm able to do this because of all the little things that I do to preserve my curls. But anyways, so you guys, this is all I do. This is so simple. These aren't the only options. Some people like to do silk scarves and just different things so 
my only recommendation is find something that works for you these are little things that we can do that are going to make a huge huge difference finding your own little nighttime routine is going to really help lead to a healthier curly journey because you're really not going to have to do as much touching up and as much washing which to me sounds like a dream <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I really, really hope that you enjoy. As always, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, please don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up to let me know you like it. And there's one more thing. Don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video, which, by the way, it is every Wednesday. That is my schedule, but that's it. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. I never um, oh, make my.